Metal production. This is where molten metal is produced, conducted and then shaped. Surfaces that come into contact with the molten material are subjected to high stress loads and chemical attack. Separating agents play an important role in metal production due to their protective and separating characteristics as well as with regard to costs, our nanotechnology know-how, combined with expert knowledge of the processes in foundries and metal production, led to the development of Nanocomp Metcast. With outstanding separating capability and good demolding properties, Nanocomp Metcast's impressive list of features also includes tremendous service life with extremely thin coating layers. Correct use is required to achieve the expected performance. The mould that is to be coated must be clean and free of grease, oil and separating agent residue. New oil-free dyes are most suitable. The dye may also be blasted clean. In case of doubt, the Metcast team can offer advice. The ideal mould temperature is between 80 degrees Celsius and 150 degrees Celsius. At these temperatures, the coating dries immediately, which makes it much easier to achieve an even coating. Preparation of the mould is crucial to achieving successful results. New moulds must not be oiled. Used moulds must be blasted clean. A commercially available paint spray gun is used. It should be designed to be used with a compressed air supply available in the plant. Pressure of 4 to 6 bar should be applied for spraying. The compressed air must be free of oil. The product must be shaken vigorously prior to application to eliminate sedimentation. The jet sprayed from a commercial spray gun can be adjusted with a control dial. Please wear the protective clothing prescribed by your foundry as well as suitable respiratory protective equipment. The dye is coated thinly but completely. Service life corresponds with layer thickness but the layer thickness should nonetheless be limited to a maximum of 50 micrometers. During production, the applied coating must sinter into a ceramic layer at a mold temperature of at least 350 degrees Celsius. This is an absolute must. If necessary, the active cooling must be managed to achieve sintering during the first castings. After sintering, the product is completely resistant to temperature shock and water cooling. The coating has good demolding properties and its excellent separating characteristics protect the dye. The benefits of this product usually last for many weeks. The performance of product and process remain consistent throughout this time. The blue color of the coating disappears rapidly and is an indicator of the complete sintering of the layer. After some weeks, the surface of the dye will shimmer through at the point where the flowing smelt strikes. This means it's time to re-spray. When doing so, you merely need to make sure that no foreign matter adheres to the coating. Subsequent misting is also possible at high mold temperatures. And in accessible positions, this can even be performed during production. A high degree of care given to preparing the mold for the first coating will allow you to achieve the desired results. Clean molds and thin application are the prerequisites. If the adhesion properties are ideal, the user can expect extremely long service life and good demolding results with minimal consumption. This allows you to achieve a cost-effective, productive and consistent process with Metcast that has a much lower impact on the environment and the surroundings than previous methods. Nanocomp Metcast offers non-stick and nanoceramic coatings that ensure safe, stable and productive processes in metal production and foundries. All Metcast products are designed to reduce the number of work interruptions required for maintenance and new coating. The long-term result is high productivity and process quality. The Metcast team will be happy to use their expertise in foundry processes to advise and assist you.